The most watched cable news channel in America finds itself making headlines. We need to find out exactly what happened in this election. After a week that revealed top stars at Fox News pushed lies about the 2020 election, even as they privately admitted what they were saying on air was false. We saw blatant election law violations in state after state. The revelations came as part of a $1.6 billion defamation suit against Fox News launched by Dominion Voting Systems. We talked about the Dominion software. I know that there were voting irregularities. Dominion was the target of extensive conspiracy theories about voting machines after Trump refused to concede the election. President Trump is zeroing in on Dominion voting machines. According to internal emails and text messages obtained as part of the lawsuit, Fox's primetime hosts privately mocked Trump and his advisors as liars, while Fox chairman Rupert Murdoch expressed concern about what his hosts were saying on air. In one unearthed text message, primetime host Tucker Carlson said of former President Trump, I hate him passionately. Fox News has called Dominion's lawsuit a distortion and an effort to smear the company. Yet even away from the courts, Fox's continued attempts to prop up former President Donald Trump have caused serious harm to the network's reputation. These were not insurrectionists. They were sightseers. This week, Carlson aired new footage of the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol, Tucker Carlson, released to him by Republican Speaker of the House Kevin McCarthy. Thousands of hours of tape were selectively edited, an attempt to rewrite history. They're not destroying the Capitol. They obviously revere the Capitol. Even for Republicans, it was a bridge too far. I think it's bullshit. Insiders described the turmoil as an existential crisis for Fox. I think Fox has abdicated being accepted and treated as a legitimate news organization. What Fox has been doing is inventing falsehoods or adopting falsehoods that were invented by others. In this precarious moment, the one story the network refuses to cover is its own, sheltering its loyal audience from any news about Fox News. Jackson Prosco, Global News, Washington.